we see a lot of innovation in many Android and iOS games and let's just say Mombizo nailed it. So what is up guys, I'm Laxman here and today I'm gonna review on Does Not Commute for the Android and the iOS. Does Not Commute has been in my mind right after I saw that gameplay in the GDC. Your objective is pretty simple, moving from point A to point B. The problem is that you are driving another car that drives the same time frame as the first car and you must avoid crashing into that vehicle. This keeps going on and on until you have a whole chaotic traffic pattern going on and you are compensating your crazy driving to get out of your own way 10 cars ago. Oh, I almost forgot. The worst part is that each car has its own unique weight, speed and handling so you will have to quickly adapt to it as well. If you do crash, you do get slower and to add more pressure, there's a time limit you have to deal with. Well, you do have the liberty to rewind but that costs you one second and believe me guys, every second is precious in this game. To also help out, you can use one of the three boosts available naming armor, speed and traction. Each gives you a benefit but also comes with a huge freaking drawback. So let me illustrate with an example. The speed boat makes your car to have much worse traction so you'll need to select your items carefully. But don't worry guys, they will help your car to get there at one piece. Well, in less time, that doesn't matter. This game is just about making to the end of the line with some time to spare. And the bonus time icons that add time to your counter are key pickups. You have to work to get some of them. Many are just in spots where you need to take, but make sure you don't take the dangerous routes. Sometimes they are hidden in spots that are not visible to plain eyes. These are the ones that can really frustrate you and because you will have no idea on where the rest of the time went. But if you are able to spot out it, the system winds out to be brilliant. The hidden ones force you to explore the levels and pay attention to the routes you are using. After you complete each level, a replay of the best run you made will be automatically saved. You can access the replay, I mean the replay from the main menu. The game provides great optimization on all end devices and if there's anything I might be irritated with, well, to surprise you, well it's not surprising but it's a surprise to me, well, well it's a surprise to me, let's keep it straight, it's an Apple Chasers! It's simply because you are forced to start from scratch every time you reopen the game. If you want to resume from the point you left, you have to make an in-app purchase for nearly one dollar. So without ads, the company has no other choice and this is the only, I mean this is the possibly the way for them to do so. So indirectly, we are provided with a demo version of this game and the addictive gameplay drives you to make that in-app purchase. And well, this game is available on both iOS and Android and don't you worry guys, this is a really good game and I can guarantee you, you will be intrigued to play with this game for quite some time where you may play it once, twice, thrice, maybe even four times. Well, the fifth time, the ball is in your court.